All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Dust Reborn, where today we are continuing, well, not really continuing, we're creating a new series of Fallout Dust, as well in the end of the previous series of our Fallout Dust adventure with good old, kind of crazy, murderous Dusty. I asked all of you when he finally met his demise whether or not you guys wanted me to continue with another Dust series or move on to the Pandemic Obscura mod, and, well, it was a very, very close vote on the two of those. Uh, the Dust fans won out by just a slim, slim little number of votes, but yes, they did win. But for those of you who are wanting Obscurum, don't worry, I am still going to be doing it, as I'm hoping that this particular series of Dust will be a lot quicker. And the previous one, we spent a lot of time exploring, and I don't want to do that this time, because, uh, well, I now have a good idea of what Dust is, so I don't need to do that. So we are going to focus on not only the main quest of escaping the Mojave, but also our own storyline and our own sort of mission, which I am hoping will be quite fun. Now, I told you guys that I wanted to make a character that was all energy weapons, or at the very least predominantly, because, well, I don't know how many energy weapons we're going to find in the game, so we may run into some situations where we do have to pull out a gun every now and then, but I'm hoping we can stick as much as possible to the energy weapons. Uh, but yes, so for our energy weapon character I have created Tesla as you can see here I decided to go with a female avatar this time because well you know change of pace from the previous series and as you can see she's got some interesting ro robes on and that's because she's a brotherhood of steel scribe well as close as I can get to actually making one without using alternative start because as you can see we are in the default start for the fallout dust series uh, so I had to kind of cheat a few things in to create our character as a Brotherhood of Steel scribe. And basically her mission is that she was sent out before Hidden Valley collapsed and, you know, is no longer, no, became no longer a viable site for the Brotherhood. And so she lost contact with the Brotherhood of Steel, is trying to find them once again, which I have an idea of where they are from comments in the previous series, but I'm not 100% sure, so hopefully we do in fact find them where I'm hoping we will. And once she does find the Brotherhood, we are going to venture with them out of the Mojave and try and find a new home for us. Well, at least we're going to escape the Mojave so they can go and do that. But yes, that is going to be our goal for the series. And to create our Brotherhood of Steel a scribe here, I did cheat a few things in. Equipment-wise, I did give her a laser pistol to start off with, with uh, 50 rounds. So, kind of a lot of rounds, but I'm... ha. Ah. I didn't know how many to give, honestly, because of the whole fact that I don't know when we're going to find other energy weapons, because they are pretty rare in Dust. So I decided to go with 50, because it's essentially one in almost a second magazine of uh, pistol shots. So let's hope that that serves us well enough for a while. Apparel-wise, you'll notice we had some robes on. Now, unfortunately, one thing I'm actually kind of mad about is I used the code, the item ID, to actually give uh, our Tesla character here a uh, Brotherhood of Steel scribe robes. But apparently, one of the mods, I'm guessing Dust did this, changed that ID to a Cloud Priest robe. So that's what we have for now. I'm not entirely happy about that, but to give us that Brotherhood of Steel feel to her character, it was either that or power armor, and I figured the power armor would be a bit too cheaty for the beginning. Now, I also gave her three stim packs to uh, sort of get her started, and that is it. Now, as for our character herself, uh, with the specials, we went Strength of 6, Perception 5, Endurance 6, Charisma 4, Intelligence 8, Agility 6, and Luck 5. Now, I wanted to pump a lot of points into Intelligence because our previous character, Dusty, didn't have a whole lot of intelligence, and also the fact that he went insane also took down his intelligence points, 
and that did hurt us in the long run for leveling up our character because we didn't get as many skill points, etc. So I wanted to make sure that we have a high intelligence on this character and also make sure that she doesn't go insane. And to help us in that regard, I'm actually going to go to perks first. I went to the Logan's loophole and took that as one of her perks. Because, well, even though it means we can't level past 10, which I don't see as a problem for this series, we won't get addicted to chems. So I, we also shouldn't be able to get addicted to alcohol, so I can help that, or use that rather, to help keep my sanity in check. So I think that'll be good. Uh, trigger discipline as well as we took for uh, better accuracy but slower firing rate, but I can live with that for the better accuracy. And uh, skill-wise, I tagged the energy weapon skills, the lockpick skills, and medicine. Now, I went with lockpick. I was originally thinking of science, because, well, she's Brotherhood of Steel. But, oh my god, in the last series, we ran into so many instances of uh, locks we couldn't get into, even basic locks, because we didn't have enough points in lockpick. So I wanted to at least get some points in there so we don't have to pass up as many locked things as we did with Dusty. So, yes, that is our character. That is what all I had to do to cheat it. Oh, oh yes, to cheat it to make a Brotherhood of Steel character. Last thing is so that the Brotherhood of Steel doesn't try and kill me on sight. I uh, made us idolized with them by using the set reputation console command. So that is our character. That is how I've set them up. So let's actually get going. Everything else equipment wise we will be finding in dust. I'm uh, debating whether or not we'll actually use the tunnel or go straight up outside because it's ghouls outside. And you know what, quite frankly, we could take ghouls. But I don't know, heading out to the tunnel, that takes us towards Nipton. And even though that might be a bit tough for us at the moment, it might give us a good opportunity to get some loot, which is what I'm really hoping for. <laughs> so I actually think we are going to take the tunnel. Plus, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there's some notes down there, or at least one, that NCR stuff down there. Oh, also, I should probably turn on my pit Void light. And we'll get it when we go down to the hatch to the tunnel. Also gonna open this up real quick because I just realized something that I picked up upstairs that I wasn't entirely sure what it is a crafting kit it's portable crafting interesting huh I don't remember that item being up there in my previous version but that's actually a good possibility as to why I don't remember it I have gone and updated all of the mods that we were using for this series, so uh, the Dust, of course, Understone, uh, various other mods. Now, a new mod list will be in the description of the video, of course, because there are a few new things that I've added in as well. And I'm also thinking of adding in a couple of other mods as we move through the series. I'm not 100% sure on that, though, but I've got some fun ones that I think will be quite useful for us uh, but yes I did make sure to update everything so we should be good to go also you may have noticed when we were in items earlier uh, the conflicts I had with some of my other mods in our previous series are fixed so we have the proper weight etc so that should be good for us let us uh, look around oh god turn back on the pit boy light I hate that it shuts off whenever you go into the pit boy oh god over this let's see if there's loot Nothing there. No ooh, ooh. <gasps> oh, no. A brother. Oh, ooh, scout log. Oh, well, that's useful. Lore. Oh, I want his power armor. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay, so let's check out this lore. Now, on the note end, we already know what this journal is. That's the, oh, we're going to steal his beans. Uh, ooh, that actually reminds me. Did I grab the beans? They were on the floor, I think. Oh, I don't think I did. Eh, eh, they're just beans. The military evacuation order, which of course we've already seen, really long thing telling us to go. You know, all the citizens have to get out, get away, go to their various evacuation points, etc. Uh, so let's see the scout log, though. That is new to us. From Searchlight, three potential areas of interest. Mead Canyon, vast emptiness, potential last resort if tunnelers don't kill, heat slash dehydration will. Searchlight Airport, aircraft possibly salvageable, not large enough to carry all members. Well, that's that that would be a bummer to pick who gets left behind. And lastly, train tunnel near Nipton. Oh, that's where we are. Rubble could be cleared with enough C4. Would need at least two or three pounds of the stuff. Five satchels, question mark. Endpoint unknown has to be better than Mojave. 
Well, obviously not for you, my friend. I am so sorry, but you met a tragic end. Though, this scout log actually, I believe, just confirmed my thoughts of where the Brotherhood of Steel are. As I said, I had an idea of where they would be from uh, comments in the previous series. Uh, and I thought it was going to be Searchlight. So that does appear to be the case with this uh, little note here because it was from Searchlight. So hopefully that is where the Brotherhood of Steel is. So that was quite good uh, of us to actually come down to Tunnel. That confirms my suspicions. Uh, I'm sorry, my brother, but I'll take these notes back to the rest of the team for you. And hopefully we can find a way out of this place. Yes, yeah, so let's continue on our journey here. Oh god, the light again. Come on. Come on, there we go. And let's check back here, see if there's anything else. Yeah, the light's gonna get on my nerves. I have a feeling quite quickly I'm going to miss so much our night vision that we had with Dusty. <laughs> it was so nice being able to see in the dark. Okay, let's see, what do we got in here? Oh, nothing in the trash can. Key in the sink. Box of detergent, no. What do I got in there? Nails. Be useful. Is that wood? Yes, it was. Interesting. Got a knife. We'll take that just in case as a last resort. Hmm, nothing useful there, really. About this one. Scrap metal. Nah. Another box of detergent. And carton of cigarettes. We'll take it just for trading purposes for the future. I'll probably drop it at some point, because that is weight that I don't quite frankly need, but... Alright, alright. Well, let's get out a weapon, because I remember there being people and or tunnelers outside of here, so... Let's grab this. We have two shots for the makeshift pistol. Yeah, let's stick with the laser pistol for now. And use the key. Oh, hello! Ooh, you are red. But you're not actually mad at me? It says I'm detected. But they're not doing anything. Huh. Interesting, I would have thought that they'd be attacking me by now. No, they, they clearly would have seen me just then. Interest. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Uh, this is going to be another permadeath series, but I want to try something here real quick. Let's just save, and if I die now, oh well, we die. <laughs> this will be our mulligan, because I'm intrigued why these guys don't seem to want to kill me. Okay, so I'm really glad we just took that mulligan save, as when I went to go and grab that Nuka-Cola Quantum, uh, the game crashed on us. I don't know why I thought I had worked out all the kinks when we updated everything for this new series but apparently that Nuka Cola Quantum was the the just the random bug <laughs> that broke the game's back but yes thankfully we did make that save just right here which granted we would have had a save here anyways I forgot that it saves whenever you leave doors so we <laughs> we actually didn't need to make that save file but hey here we go so yeah now time to test why these guys don't seem to be actually attacking us they're red and they see me I'm detected but they're not doing anything so let's avoid grabbing that or even touching it let's give it a wide berth and see what's going on with these guys hello you are you are you bad people I mean you're red you don't seem to care about me you obviously see me you howdy. oh howdy they're talking Oh, I kind of just want to shoot them right now. <laughs> but I'm intrigued why they aren't attacking me. They detect me. I'm wondering if I broke something. Well, it's time for them to die. <laughs> let's use vats. We haven't used it yet. Oh, yep, there's the warning thing. Hi, let's shoot you. There we go, beautiful. Okay, so what did you guys have on you? Ooh, makeshift laser revolver. And some electron charge packs. Hunter's duster. Eh. Eh. Ash pot. Ooh, look at all this. 5.56 ammo. 
Nice little makeshift assault rifle. That'll be good for the future. Oh, and morphine. Oh, we desperately are going to need that at some point. So you. Okay, we're going to get close to this guy and see what's going on. Why, why, why aren't you guys attacking me directly? You're red. Hi. Hello. Oh, there we go. He finally has drew his weapon. Interesting. <laughs> so I guess they just... I, I don't know. Just don't see me as a threat? Masked helmet, huh? Oh, God. That's going to have the, the whole mask outline, isn't it? Oh, uh, let's see. We don't have any headgear at the moment. So let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's all broken up, too. Oh, boy. Ooh. <laughs> I kind of want to keep it because we don't have headgear, but at the same time, that's just, oh boy. It wouldn't be so bad if it didn't have all the cracks. But now let's, let's, let's just take it off. That's just too much, too much for me right now. Okay. Okay. Let's continue on our merry way. So we've got the, uh, drive through there. We've got the train station over there. Ooh. That are, those are gunshots. I'm intrigued by them. Though also very worried. Oh, God. And my gun is on the wrong side of the screen. I don't see any people. Where did those shots come from then? Oh, and thank God. There we go. The laser pistol went to the right side. Huh. Yeah, I don't see anyone for them to have shot at. But, okay. I mean, if, if, if that's your thing, game, you have at it. So we got person. Ooh, person. All right. Let's move in for the kill. We should be able to get him from here. Oh, 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 ooh, and a third. I just saw them by the barrel. Past that barrel there. So... There we go. Beautiful. Oh, I love this laser pistol. <laughs> oh, we don't have many rounds for it, though. Which worries me. Hi. And while you're stood still, a little bit more over. There we go. Beautiful. All right. What loot do you guys have? 22 rounds. Authority glasses. Nice. We'll take the psycho. Hey, another masked helmet. <laughs> yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Use you to repair. We also had a, got a makeshift pistol off of him, which means we can prepare that a bit. And we got a couple more rounds for it. I actually think I'm going to drop this makeshift grenade launcher because it's taken up nine weight. I have no ammo for it, and it's basically broken. I don't know why I picked it up in the safe house, but oh well. There we go. Let's drop that. Oh, cautioned. Lovely. Why am I cautioned? Nipped in train station. Hey, our good old makeshift rifle and, a, <laughs> of course, another masked helmet. Lovely, lovely. All right, well, let's go pick up this guy's stuff here. Charmer outfit. No. Roving trader hat. Cautioned, which worries me greatly. I mean, we've, <laughs> we've repaired it kind of nicely now. What the hell? There's less less cracks. Why am I cautioned? Is there someone up there? Oh god, I'm hearing more shots that way. No one around here. Oh, I see you and you are running towards a fight. Or and yeah, that's probably where that gunfire is coming from. Oh, danger. Why? Where? Woo! Oh, hello, mole rat! <laughs> okay! Well, you're going to die by the laser pistol. There we go. We decapitated you with the laser pistol. Lovely. I'll take the mole rat meat. What the hell? Where the hell did he come from? I didn't see him anywhere. Huh. Well. Interesting. 
All right, well, let's go back to our little lookout point. He, uh, I'm wondering where in the hell he came from. I'm going to have to look back on the video on that and editing. I i don't know where in the... Well, obviously, he came from this direction somewhere. And I just completely missed him. Oh, God, I am very paranoid about Nipton. <laughs> we just don't have a whole lot of gear. I'm one, I'm actually kind of debating whether or not I want to go back to the... Uh, the tunnel. <laughs> And go out the other way. Oh, uh, and then we just run into a crap load of super mutants. Or not super mutants. Ghouls. There we go. Got the drive in. Uh, a lot of ghouls, tunnelers, and eventually... Uh, the robots. Oh, uh, that we could pick up that really nice gun. <laughs> but I think the robots would kill us long before we got over there. Uh, I think we're just going to have to push through this way. Seems like our only option. I don't like that we're still cautioned, though. Ugh, God. I know I grabbed carton of cigarettes before, but, ugh. You know what? I'm actually going to put the other one that I did grab earlier into here, because I just, I don't, I don't care for it. I don't want it. I don't know why I grabbed it. Two cartons of cigarettes. That gives me some more normal weight. Hey, another mole rat. Nice. Oh, so that must have been those shots we heard earlier. So someone must have killed him. Then backed up that way. Where in the world they go, though? I didn't see them. Oh, God. And I'm really not liking that we're still cautioned. Oh, my God. All right. I'm going to head over this way. Look over this crest of this hill. Hey, we're hidden. Yay. <laughs> Ooh, person. Okay, okay. What do we got down? Detected! Detected by what? You? Mole rat! Damnable mole rats. Alrighty. So. A little move over here. Not seeing anyone. Oh, yeah, I am super paranoid about this place. So there are going to be many people with weapons who want me dead. Get over here, see if I can see anyone. It's strange that I'm not really seeing many people. I remember last time we were here with Dusty... We saw people far more often. I mean, I see that guy way the crap down there. But I'm just not seeing anyone else. Oop, caution. Oop. I saw something moving briefly. Oh, yep, there they are. Oh, God, ow. Okay, 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 okay. Sit back here. Okay, there's one down. Come on, die. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that worked. Okay. We're hidden. We blew up that car. And we've gone through half of our ammo. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. You. Five, five, six rounds. Pre-war money will... Oh, God. Uh, no, I'm not going to take the varmint rifle, actually. Wastelander robes. Nail gun, okay. It's actually a nice weapon to see. Got another body there. Guy way down there. I want to pick him off, but I, I don't think I have the range. That was... That was unnerving. <laughs> and we're getting some heavy hits on me from quite a distance. I'm wondering if that's something that has changed with the uh, the update, since I have updated Dust to the most recent, which we didn't have previously. 
So. Alright. Let's go around here, loot this body. Oh, hi! And. Boom! Yes! Lovely. That made me happy. Alright. 556 five, rounds. Armored, leathered, le leathered, no, just leather robes. And assault rifle, we do have the another, a, uh, other one to repair with, so that will be good. Keeping them around for now, because, well, I'm, <laughs> I've already gone through half my damn ammo for my laser pistol. Which is not good. But yes, actually, we're hidden. And it's about that time. I don't really see us finding a better place to save for now. So I'm going to tuck myself into this corner right here. And that is going to be the end of the episode. We haven't made a whole lot of progress, but that's because I think I overestimated Nip uh, Nipton. Or, well, underestimated Nipton and overestimated my laser pistol. But, <laughs> yes, so that is, uh, that is the first episode of our new series with our new character, Tesla, the Brotherhood of Steel scribe, trying to find her people and then hopefully then f see them to freedom out of the Mojave. Uh, so uh, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today, and of course that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one.